Ready? Away we go. We've been excited for this trip for a while. It's nice to be outside in the end of summer, before fall starts and before it gets really cold for the winter. My brother and boyfriend and I are going into the wilderness for a few days. Oh boy. This time we will be out for three nights. There's often a lot of anticipation at the start of a new trip, thinking about what the weather might be like, if we'll catch any fish, what kind of animals we might see. For me on this trip, I was a little bit nervous about the weather. I don't like being cold at night, but the forecast is warm and sunny. We're off, we are on our first lake. We might find a campsite here, if we don't, then we'll be doing a couple portages, one short one and one long one. Um, I think we should check out the campsites on this lake, see what they look like and decide from there. Currently I'm sitting in the middle of the canoe. I have this massive weight bearing canoe that is kind of difficult to paddle solo in, but finally I'm getting like the proper use out of it and <laughs> loading it in with three people and all of our gear. We're still sitting pretty high in the water, so it's good. But I realized I should have sat I think in that back slot there and not up in this front one because I'm so close to John's paddle that I don't think I can really help from here, of but that's course, fine. Of course. I'm the <laughs> I'm the map person. Paul, I know how you feel. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Shout out to Paul who was my paddle partner growing up and uh, dealt with me at doing all of the sitting in the canoe and not so much paddling. I've grown as I've gotten more mature and now these days I paddle, but not today. Cause I sat in the wrong spot. But there are three campsites on this lake. You got your map out? Yep. I can't see anything cause I'm like right behind John. This is what I can see. And your life jacket is not on properly. <laughs> experiencing some pretty awesome weather. It's warm and sunny right up here on the right around that corner there should be a campsite. Um, and it's just gorgeous here. I don't think I've been to this lake before. Maybe I have. I might have when I was younger. But there's an, a location on this, not this lake, but near here where there are pictographs. Um, and you can see the old pictographs and I'm excited to go check that out probably tomorrow. John and Corey and I also all brought our fishing gear, so we're going to do some fishing. The campsite should be around this corner and it looks super pretty here. It's kind of nice not paddling and you kind of just get to give the tour, the YouTube to tour. What do you say? Don't get used to it. What? <laughs> Looks like the water level's low historically here, based off the lines on the rock. Yeah, that is pretty. That is a pretty campsite. Is that? That is very pretty. You guys want to go to the next lake, though? No. Nope. Alright. Oh. We're going deep into the wilderness. That way. <laughs> Back where we came. Looks we came to check us. out the campsite. It does look gorgeous. I'll show you the campsite we're at for those people who like to come to this area. This campsite is really pretty. But I think we want to do a couple more portages, get farther into the wilderness, and set up camp elsewhere. So. We started with a short portage from one lake to the next. A portage is simply a trail from one lake to the next where you carry everything you have. So for those who haven't seen our past videos, Corey actually made two of our canoe paddles and they are 
lovely. But look how nice this is. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. It's so pretty. Alright, baby, you wanna help him? This portage that we're about to do is 147 rods. I'm gonna double trip it. But I think they wanna go single trip, so I'll be making the second trip by myself. I just didn't really like carrying the food pack and the canoe at the same time. But double tripping a portage is when you take some of your things across the portage to the next lake, and then you backtrack to get the rest of your things and then carry that stuff across too. It takes a little bit more time, but it tends to be easier on your body, especially if you have a lot of stuff. We packed a lot of stuff this trip. So I was going to take the canoe across this portage and then come back for the food pack, but the boys don't want to, the men <laughs> don't want to come back. They want to do everything in one go. Um, which I'm the kind of person who's totally fine with making a couple trips, but they decided to carry my pack across. So, and I'm also grateful that they're willing to carry the food pack, which is kind of my thing I was gonna carry. This is steep. There's the lake. I said it once, I'll say it again. The best part of the portage is when you first get a glimpse of the lake you're heading to, or the river you're heading to. I'm so happy we came to this lake. It is gorgeous. How was your hike? Lovely. How was yours? Lovely. Glad we brought water with. So we don't have to pump this water. <laughs> When there are no other people around, we have the luxury to stop and relax at the end of a portage. However, when there are people around, we tend to get moving so that we don't crowd the location. We want to keep the solitude for others around us. So it looks like we've come up to a campsite. We're gonna go check it out, see if it is a campsite. It looks like it is. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a campsite. Yeah, you can see the fire pit. Maybe. I'm thinking those right There's there. a post with some stuff on it. Oh, yeah. I bought my canoe from a surveyor, a forest service surveyor. Do not do Destroy, deface government property, blah, blah, blah. This is quite the view. Oh, that's a pretty wall over there. Huh. I'm not impressed by the... I say this to every campsite I've been to this summer, but I'm not super impressed by the fire. Good thing we brought right. chairs, huh? That's true. But the view is pretty great. I mean, look at that. Yeah, the sun's going to set over there. Should we see what the tent spots look like? There's 
kind of a tense spot, but it doesn't look that great. Oh, here's a nice one. Oh, the latrine is right here. You basically pee in camp. Oh my goodness. There's a tent spot right here next to the latrine. <laughs> Let's go check out the other one. This one has a nice view, but everything else about it isn't. Yeah, great view. I'll give the view 10 out of 10. The rest of it, three. This looks like it might be a grassy campsite, which I'd be hesitant about because of the bugs, except there are no bugs right now because it's September. This is also a great view. Yeah. That is beautiful. Nice tent spot right here. This is a cool little campfire spot. Kind of a nice tent spot back here. Oh, man, that latrine is right in the weeds. <laughs> you look oh, like you're I dripping. Didn't, I didn't fall in the water did, yet. No. Did, did you just fall in? No. You're dripping. It was Corey splashing with a paddle. It's rain. <laughs> rain. Oh, I'm sorry. So we're gonna call this one home. We like this one. I was making comments. So been making, so. We're a bit indecisive, but I think we're gonna go back to the first campsite that we were just at. There was rocks over here, right? Oh, yeah. I think we're past them. This campsite is nice because it's grassy. Um, there are a lot of nice sleeping spots, but the other place we just are attracted to the rocks there and the possibility of sitting out on the rocks and walking around. And We might come back here, but <laughs> I think we're going to go back to that first campsite again. John's ready to go fishing. Yeah, it's, it's good luck to cast right away and get to a campsite. You got a fish? Yeah. Oh, oh no! I always feel like putting up a tent as soon as I get to camp. Then I can do other things, but first I want the tent up. Got another fish? A little baby one. What is it? A bass? Smallmouth bass, yeah. Well, this is Little Bass Lake. So, Unigear actually sent us this tent. It's not sponsored, they're not paying us to use it or anything, but they sent us a tent and a sleeping pad and a sleeping bag. Um, and I actually really like it. I plan to review this tent more in the future, but just setting it up, I kind of like how it sets up. So, thanks to Unigear. <laughs> It's pretty too, I like the colors. We got our tent all set up. I think Corey's gonna take a nap. I'm gonna go find out where John put his tent. And this trail takes you right up to this bear's plot. Hey, do we want to make a meal right now or do we want a snack? We had a quick afternoon snack and then decided to go fishing. Thanks for getting the fishing poles ready. <laughs> <laughs> Off the shore. 
I just caught a fish like a minute after putting my line in the water. Thanks for netting it. Yep. It's the pink lead head that you got. That looks like a good eater. Are we gonna eat it? Yeah, we should eat that one, All right? If you wanna eat fish, that's the eater. Is that a large mouth? That's a large mouth. How can you tell it's a large mouth versus a small mouth? See how green his belly is? It's got a kind of a black stripe down the middle. And it's got a big mouth. We're basically still at a campsite. <laughs> we haven't moved very far. <laughs> There's fish here. Uh oh. Is it? Or am I snagged? <laughs> I'm sad. Like I thought it seemed like a fish. <laughs> You've got a, one. A little fighter. A little fighter? Well, we got them already. I can't see anything from down here. It's coming. It's coming. A little smally. Oh, the splasher. Good job, Corey. Nice fish. Smallmouth? That's a smallmouth, yep. So we'll grab the large mouth and you can see the differences. Okay. All right. Oh. See how they look different? Big mouth is way bigger and there's like a dark strip right here. Yep, the dark streak down the middle. These are just kind of really, uh, kind of plain hmm. bass fight. Yeah. Even the little ones. All right. John, how's it going? It's going absolutely fantastic. Up, 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 Jody. <laughs> I couldn't, it was too heavy. Good job, babe. That was so impressive, Jody. Jody, you're some bigger. Ooh, nice. That is beautiful. That's a large mouth, right? It is a large mouth. Hold. That's going to be lovely. The sunset in the back. <laughs> he actually kissed it. I knew three wasn't enough. Oh, this guy's a fighter. Jumper, too. How's that good at this netting thing? Oh, yeah, that's it. Got another fish. What is it? Small mouth. That is a large mouth. It's a small mouth. Okay. They look the same. You're reeling it so fast. <laughs> Top of the water. <laughs> Such a fast reel. <laughs> Lovely. So that is a small mouth. Yep. Large mouth. No, it's a small mouth. <laughs> it's, it's a large mouth. <laughs> it's a small mouth. That, see, that way I'm right no matter what. of our labors. Part of the beauty of existing in a wilderness setting is we tend to eat when we're truly hungry and not at set meal times. The fish batter. The fish turned out so good. We're gonna eat dinner and hang out and go to bed. We might get up tonight to look at the Northern Lights or try to stay up, but if we can see anything, I'll try to capture that. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Look at this fog. Last night, we could hear what we think was like a wolf crying. It sounded like a 
want to be howl, but it was really sad sound. It was like how for some reason it just sounded really sad. It didn't sound like it was very far away from us. I tried to record the sound with the GoPro. It wasn't that loud. I really like these instant coffee packs that you just pour the coffee into water and mix it and drink it. I think it's just super easy. The coffee bags that are kind of like tea bags, those are also really nice. Good morning. What are you going to fish for? Whatever bites. Good luck. Thanks. I got a bug. A little tiny bug. Fish for breakfast? Fish for breakfast? I mean, if you want to fillet like it. Every meal. If you want to fillet it, I'm not filleting it, so I don't feel like I have a say. The net? Feisty. 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 It's right oh, there by that rock. Oh, he's going to get off. He's not to poke you in the eye. Got him. It's a nice little smallie. Nice fish. Corey got another catch. It's huge. That is a nice stick. Is that a nice stick or what? That's a really nice stick. You really caught it's that good. like the water, you know, just slowly chewed away the rest of the wood. And I caught it right in the center there. <laughs> While John and Corey went out to do some fishing, I stayed back at camp. I wanted to do some reading and relaxing. I took some time to stretch and just sit and stare at the sky for a while too. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but it's perfect because there aren't bugs. The sun is nice and warm. There's a breeze and it's so quiet. The sounds of the water and the birds and the buzzing of the bees, it's just beautiful. The water lapping on the rocks here is really calming, especially reading a book and camp is completely quiet. I'm currently here at camp by myself and it's just incredible because you can hear everything more acutely when you're not around other people <laughs> although i am excited for john and corey to come back the wind makes the trees just sound so cool you can hear them rustling in the wind and off in the distance i can see one tree right over there that is turning red <laughs> it's a sign of fall things are slowly changing the wind is a little bit cooler I don't feel the intense desire to go swimming, at least not right now. It might get warmer later. How many fish did you get? I don't know. More than five, How many did we catch? 30. How many did we keep? I mean, yeah, that's that's actually a good question. Yeah. How many did you keep? Five? Uh five or six. Mm. That was good. That's a taste. Very good. Like freshly morning caught fish. <laughs> yes. This fish was tomorrow. swimming an hour ago. <laughs> we brought ranch, like ranch salad dressing packets. So we have ranch for our fish. How's the fish you caught? It's delicious. 
Cody said she wanted no part in breakfast this morning, so we got this. Yep. Yeah, no part in making it. I do want part in eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that wolf or whatever that animal was last night was kind of cool. Yeah. It was really sad. I like, felt bad for it. it sounded it's like it got its leg in a trap or something. And I want to go to the pictographs. So I think we're going to eat breakfast and then maybe head that direction. We have to portage back across the portage we came across yesterday, the 147 rod one, and then paddle up that lake through a narrow area and that's where the pictographs are. Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> I, I, was, I was warm on shore and I was like, oh, I need to go swimming to cool down. How is swimming in the boundary waters? Well, the water's warm, it's peaceful. <laughs> What's the best part of your day so far today? Probably spending time fishing with Cory. If you could bring any pet with you to the boundary waters, what pet would you bring? Artie. Artie's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, he, he would, uh, we wouldn't even have to fish. Artie would catch all of the food that we could ever eat. You'd rely on him? I'd rely on Artie. You'll notice that I don't show you the pictured rocks, the pictographs in this video. That's on purpose. I think showing something like this on the internet in a video takes away from your experience of actually going to see it yourself in person. I hope you get the chance to do that. If not, I don't think it's my place to share these artifacts. If you are unable to go or differently abled and cannot access this location. There are photos on the internet if you would like to look it up, or maybe you could reach out to a local native group and ask for their perspective. It almost feels spiritual seeing it in person. I just don't want to take that away from anybody. We just got back across the portage, and it's nice that it's kind of cool. It makes the portaging feel easier, especially when you're carrying the canoe. I was hoping I'd see a moose but nothing right now. This or like this? It was the other way, it was like that. That? Yeah. It was like that, not like this? Yeah. Like this? Like that. Um, that's... Is that a leaning jowler then? Yeah, leaning jowler, that's 15 points. Do you want to keep going or do you Nope, want to I'm good. Just won't worry about it and I'll throw the peg in. However it lands, it lands. You've got a Razorback, five points. Do you want to keep going? Home. You can just keep going, and eventually you'll either end up with the amount of points you want and then pass, or you could roll. If you roll one dot up, one dot down, then you get zero points for your turn. Okay, I'll roll again. So you got five points right now. Daredevil. And you have zero points. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I think that's one point. Two dots up is a cider. cider. I got one point. I'm going to go again. Oh, Razorback, five points. Look how dirty they're getting. <laughs> <laughs> they're like pigs in mud. Uh, ten points yeah, was, total. I'm lucky. gonna call it. How is it? Delicious. Nice work. Go on a hand. Um, you take the plate. Hi. I don't feel like you have to eat the burnt ones, but... Yum.
just asked Corey, wouldn't it be nice if we could do yoga right now? And Corey said that we could do redneck yoga. And so now Corey's gonna lead us through some redneck yoga. Ready? Nope. <laughs> See, the camera won't even be facing it. You're gonna do the yoga. <laughs> yes, okay. Redneck yoga, okay, tell me what to do. And you have to motion okay. it behind the camera so I can redo it over here. Number one was pick up the beer, right? That's right. Okay. Pick up the beer. You have to talk me through it. Like Beer's a yoga class. And now... Like... Ew, like oh. Reach down and pick up the beer. <laughs> this has to be some yoga, right? And now what? N now you Come throw the, the beer into the air. And then you pull out your shotgun. <laughs> and you aim it up at the bottle in the air. <laughs> and you shoot it. God, I need more Corey moves. <laughs> Corey, can you walk me through some redneck yoga? So open the oven door. <laughs> and then close the oven door. <laughs> Like a shoulder. Yeah, it's Stretch. whole body, whole body. So wash your tractor. Or your truck, no. This may be your better Wash your truck. <laughs> I don't think you should do this. This is super comfortable. <laughs> So John didn't want to wait for us to go fishing. <laughs> he didn't invite us to go with him. Just went. So beautiful. Well, this jug should be enough for me at least. Yeah, my water bottle's full. Is it? Yeah, I boiled water boiled yesterday. Boiled water. Am I in the front or are you in the front? I can be in the front if you want. Okay. Okay. It's beautiful this morning. The water's like glass. It's pretty warm. I do have my headband on, but it's pretty warm. We're gonna catch some fish and then go back and have some coffee. You ever sat backwards in this front seat? Yep. That's how I paddle when I'm solo. I sit there and I face this way, and that's where I paddle. That'd be exciting. How you face each other? Aww. How cute. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's another one. You got two already. Same spot. We saw what three of them chased the first one that I caught. Yeah, hopefully we got that on camera. I was trying to film the underwater catch of the fish. But I don't know how far the GoPro can see, but there were fish chasing the fish that Corey caught. So hopefully we caught that on camera. <laughs> Corey just said, Jody, don't freak out. You have a gigantic spider on your leg. <laughs> this is what was on my leg. 
That is a big spider. <laughs> I wish you could have gotten my facial reaction. I was like, <laughs> like I'm not terrified of spiders, but that's kind of a big one. That is huge. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt it. I don't want it to die, but I don't want it to sit right there. Let's see if it'll go on your paddle and then it gets set in the water. But it probably can't swim. Well, how'd it get here? Oh, it was probably in the canoe through. from the land. I don't want to drown it. I'll just push it your way. Okay, what do you think you'd grab onto? Go up. Okay. He's on yours. Oh, yeah, he's on yours. Can you get him? One sec. <laughs> Gosh. Got this on camera? Yeah, it's filming. Oh, I don't want it to. Don't let go, buddy. We gotta get closer to that rock. Oh, you can't paddle. Oh no, I dropped him. Oh no, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Here, grab on. Grab on. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Okay. Here you go. You caught him in it. Okay, there you go. Bye bye, spider. Hope you have a good life. I'm sorry. I got a fishy. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh! Nice little guy. I caught a fish. This one is a largemouth. Yep. In all of my time in the wilderness, I have never before seen a Sasquatch. But today, we have spotted one. Right over there. You guys catch any fish? Sasquatch speaks English. And he wears pink Crocs. Yeah. Can't shut it off. <laughs> House classic breakfast skillet. One out of ten. Or one to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Six point five. Why? Because it has good flavor. Like Corey said, the texture is a little bit off, you know. But good flavor, good amount. It's a good hearty meal. And I think, I think if Corey wasn't here enjoying it with me, I'd give it a three. But if you eat it with Corey, it's a six and a half. <laughs> Corey, what do you rate it? Well, I'll give it a six, because I always eat with me. <laughs> <laughs> My soup is delicious. Cheddar broccoli soup for breakfast. What do you give it? Nine out of ten. I'd give it a ten out of ten if I had some kind of bread to dip in it. Sourdough bread. It's not their fault. It's not their fault, <laughs> but it would make it better. So would some fresh broccoli, but... We forgot it. How is it going in the mock? This is probably a better sleeping spot than in the tent. <laughs> you can sleep right here tonight? No, I can't sleep at this angle. <laughs> I roll around too much, break my back, I fall on the rocks down below. All right, you gonna join me? Sure. John's going fishing. Would it work better if you sat in the middle? It would work better if you sat in the front and faced backwards. It's like birds or something. We've decided on Santa Fe style rice and beans with chicken.
Rise, will you fall out? No, it's just, it's a little bit more comfortable like this and I can kind of... Oh. Don't have to really worry. You ready to go swimming? I think it's in true Boundary Waters tradition. We have to. Our shower water. We're going to warm up with solar. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sugar. I'm further than you. I'm going to slip right in. <laughs> Oh, painful. That is cold. Oh, oh here we go! <laughs> <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> John, don't you want to come? No, I remember what it felt like yesterday. <laughs> yep, it is it, cold. It is very cold. I think I'm good. Are you good? It's refreshing though. You didn't even put your hair head in yet. Nope. I don't know if I'm gonna... My hair takes so long to dry. We have lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> John has the water. I had to go fill my water bottle. <laughs> Is it full now? So I swam out to the center <laughs> to get some fresh water because I didn't want to have to pump. <laughs> That's not true. He was standing here telling Corey how to pump his water better. <laughs> and stepped backwards into the lake and luckily did not hit his head but slipped all the way back and into the water. He must be a snowboarder. That was like perfect right in. <laughs> just like stayed on his feet as he slid and then just like crumpled into the water. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks are very slippery. And they are. <laughs> this is one of the last full days I'll spend in the wilderness this summer. I'm trying to soak it all in. Good enough. Cribbage and fresh fish. And boyfriend. <laughs> and boyfriend. Thanks. <laughs> For the fish. Yep. Catching them, filleting them, cooking them. <laughs> we get to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> well, Corey's been cooking them. Where was it? I lost it. Corey's making pasta and chicken. Tell us the secret of your fishing success. A secret? A dark green twisty tail? It is windy today. You could hear the wind whipping from inside of the tent. It's a beautiful morning though. Sometimes it's nice to have cloud coverage. Today's the day we paddle out. We will pack up all our things and head towards home. Spider. Spider.
made it all the way back here? To, to a tent. Yeah? Bye bye campsite. The water feels colder today. Does it? It does. Swamp that never ends. Thanks for getting it that far at least. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming on our trip with us. Bye. To get shallow up there. It's gonna be hard to control the canoe.